we'll do something soon and we should move on while we try and keep Tim awake. <laughs> 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 All right. We would list it off the reviews. We'll get to those in just a second. We have a hot topic to go to first uh and that is because this is the first regular episode for 2021 like we do it every year we just go okay what releases that we know or think are coming up it's sort of even hypothetical what are we looking forward to getting our ears around this year coming up in 2021 so dave over to you first on this sure i got a bit of a list and the one i've been looking forward to for it should have been out last year but the world went to shit halloween yep new album from the seven piece halloween kiski kai Yep. All back. This is going to be amazing. And they've teased there's going to be a single released in a couple of months, and then the album should be out a little bit after that. But, yeah, it's going to be amazing, I hope. <laughs> it could be the biggest disappointment of the year, but my my hopes are pretty high, and I reckon it should be cool. Well, they have released something already, haven't they? No. They teased that there was a single coming. That was the announcement late last year. But even the live performance is enough to go on. Yeah, there was a live performance. Yeah. Yeah, so that was pretty damn cool to see all, all of them together. But, yeah, new music from them, that's going to be cool. Mm-hmm. The other thing that shocked me a couple of weeks ago, I wasn't expecting this band to ever do another release, and that's a Liquid Tension Experiment. Okay, yeah. If I can't have Mike Portnoy back in Dream Theater, he's going to record something with John Petrucci and Jordan Rudis, and Tony Levin is on bass. So as close to Dream Theater as you're going to yeah. get. So cool. happy with that. And, of course... It might happen, it might not. Guns N' Roses, mm. fingers crossed. Either way, we'll have new music from Slash because he's doing something with Miles Kennedy and the Conspiracies. So we have some Slash stuff. Anthrax. Oh, Kennedy's got a solo coming as well. Yeah, yeah, Miles Kennedy does too. Yeah. Anthrax yeah. expected to have a new album. And if they continue on the winning track they've been on with the last couple of albums, that should be pretty amazing too. Yeah. And keeping it fresh, Megadeth, they've got something coming. Yep. Um, Alice Cooper has a new one. Bunch of covers, I think it is. Half covers, half new stuff. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so some original stuff on there as well. Uh, Rob Zombie has a new album coming up very soon, I think, in the next couple of months. That's top of my list. (laughs) Yeah, they're always interesting to see what he comes up with. Uh, Not sure if Reckless Love have a new album coming out. They're well overdue for one. They had a new single out a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago now, but yeah, they should be definitely ready for a new album. Yep. Uh, Blind Guardian, once again, I'm not sure if they got an album coming, but it was expected that the last project they did was kind of a symphonic thing with no guitar. Okay. And they said a, a full band thing will be coming soon afterwards. So that was an interesting just, release though. Yeah. That really yeah. was. Um, it was all composed by the singer and the guitarist, but there was no guitar in it, but it was still pretty bloody heavy. Wow. Uh, Ricky Warwick, if you know yeah. him, he's the singer of Black Star um, Riders mm-hmm. and the old band, The Almighty. He's got a solo album coming. And this one surprised the hell out of me. I don't know if it will happen, but Wasp apparently have a new album coming yeah. So that'll be pretty bloody good. So this year is going to be pretty exciting. <clears throat> yep. Cool. Tim, what have you come up with? Uh, so apparently we, we're going to get the follow-up to a Sony album that we did last. Yes, yeah, that's coming next so that's week. That's coming up soon, yeah. relatively soon. So I'm looking forward to that. Maybe even, uh, maybe even Friday. I'll have to yeah. check on Yeah. Yeah. So um, that slayed last time. So let's hope we can do it again. Okay. Um, um, as Dave mentioned, uh, Anthrax been keen on that. Um, apparently delayed as well. So from last year. So hopefully that'll be good. Uh, Rob Zombie as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but for me personally, some other ones I'm looking forward to is again very soon we get the new album from Architects. Yep. Um, and also one of my favorite bands growing up, the Amenta, uh-huh. uh, band from Sydney, who are doing like a heavy industrial thing. Uh, There's a goth rock band from Portugal called Moonspell, who, again, I really like, who are doing a new album out as well. I had God have a new album out. Uh, Corpa Clani. Yep. Who are, yeah, if you like uh, Lagerstein, but Mm. want to not understand the lyrics even more. (laughs) Uh, And, again, there's a great Hungarian groove metal band I used to like way back in the day. I just found out I was doing a new album called Ectomorph. Okay. Um, so they are a really good band, and I'm keen to see what they're up to. So, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, Rob Zombie, top of my list, always will be generally when he releases uh, an album. Evanescence have a new album coming out. And I'm curious. Okay. I'm, I'm very curious as where that's going to go. Um, 
but also the pretty reckless is coming out in a, in a couple of weeks uh from the singles i've heard i'm actually very interested in that one as well halloween dave mentioned very keen on that especially after doing the the special last year that will that will be cool we'll do that mini thing we'll go through those couple of other albums that we didn't do last yeah, well. live album that'd be cool yeah there's a few bits of pieces there to catch up on but mammoth uh wva so Wolfgang Van Halen's album is coming out soon, hopefully. So that's coming this year for sure. I'm looking forward to that one. Ones that I'm not as certain of sort of dates and times and that, but Alien Mercury apparently looking to release something new this year as well, which I think we'll all be very happy about that one. Um, and I got the well, Ramstein in the studio currently. So unexpectedly, I didn't think they'd be back in there so soon, but with the pandemic, they decided to lock themselves away and go again. D. Snyder is apparently in the studio as well. So that'll be cool. Cool. Ghosts are rumored to have something in the works as well as Godsmack, uh, God, Godsmack, sorry, and The Who too. The so, Who, ooh, yeah, it looks like they've got the kind of... Who or The Who. Oh, no, the, who. The, the the yeah, the Mongolian one. So nice. <laughs> the one we enjoyed <laughs> last time around. Um, and also Tremonti is rumored to have something in the works too, which would be very very cool. So Wayne, if you're watching this one, I'm sure that'll be one for your little squirt back <laughs> there. Uh, and Dave mentioned it. Wasp is another one. But moving on to more of the ones we've discovered through the show or locally. Soen, which Tim mentioned, that went off. The last album was 2018, I think it was. And we love that. And that's coming out, I think, in a couple of days as we film this. So I'm very keen on that. But just some local artists that I know are doing something. Uh, Cicada Stone, they've got the album coming out soon. I've heard it. It's fucking fantastic. I'm looking forward to it actually dropping and, and they can finally get that ball rolling for themselves. But also Carly Jewel has got some new music coming already too, which will be, I'm keen to hear more of that as well. So there's a bit there to go through. So if you're out there watching or listening to this, make sure you let us know in the comments wherever you're finding this one or get on our socials and let us know what you're looking forward to in 2021. And if there's anything in particular, you're angry that we missed. So <laughs> this is always something that we've missed. So let us know what we've missed in this one too. <laughs>